my channel it is drew here today i have another diy video this is going to be all on wall art so just things you can put on your wall your walls are boring these are three simple ideas and they're actually really cool they came out amazing and i'm so excited for you to see them if you're not already subscribed to my channel you can definitely subscribe using the subscription box somewhere on the screen it's totally free and i'm gonna start posting a lot more videos on here and i'm so excited to see how big this channel's already gotten with only five videos so let's just roll into this wall art video This first project is one you really can't mess up. All you're going to need is some canvases, paint, and paintbrushes. It's pretty self-explanatory and easy. I got these canvases in a pack of three for like $12 at Michael's and I used two of them. Um, I started off by taking some random paint colors. I started off with this yellow and just using a larger paintbrush just to create a brush stroke. And this whole entire art piece is actually created just with simple brush strokes. So I did it with assortment of colors. And the nice thing about this is you can actually customize the colors to fit like the room or wherever you're gonna be putting this because you can customize it to the color scheme you have and you can really make it a personalized piece. So then I went in with this peach color, grab a little bit of water so you can of course clean your brushes after each use so when you switch colors it's not all gross and muddy. And then I also use this pink color as well with a really large brush. I just wanted to layer a lot of different colors together and just create a really nice like graphic print and I went with no like rhyme or reason just I went up and down side to side whatever you feel like doing and I thought that the black added a really really bold like touch to this peach or piece, which is why I added it. And then I also wanted to add a nice gold touch, but I didn't have a really gold paint. So I actually used this gold spray paint, sprayed it in a little bit of a, a cup, and then I was able to use my paintbrush to just wipe the gold spray paint on. And it looks incredible with the gold, like it really finished it off. And I also added a couple little splatter marks on the painting just in like random areas. So you can really get that splattered look. And this is the finished piece. Next up is this brass collage wall art piece that I created and I actually found this frame in the lobby of my apartment building. Someone was getting rid of it and it was free so I took it and I knew I could do something with it but you can always find these at like Ross or just like Marshalls, random places for super inexpensive and I took all the components out of it so it's just the wood part of the frame and then I decided that I wanted to spray it with this really cool like gold brass spray paint so I did a coating of that and my trick is uh, to really overload it with the paint because it's going to fill in all the gaps on the wood so that's how you get it to look very metalized as opposed to like a sprayed piece of wood and it looked so pretty when it was completely done and then what I did was I just slipped the glass back in on the back side of the frame and then I took a lot of random bits that I had like some Polaroid pictures an art piece and then a pressed flower and just like an invite to a fashion show magazine clippings and collaged it in the back there and you just put the back on and you're ready to hang it up I also wanted to give it a little bit more personality so I used this string and created a hanger for it as opposed to just hanging it straight on the wall because I thought it added like an artistic handmade touch to it which I love Last but not least is this graphic wall initial, and all I used for this was a magazine, this wooden initial, scissors, pen, and a hot glue gun. So I first started out by finding the picture in the magazine I wanted, and I knew I wanted to use this Lord magazine I've had forever because I just love her. And I found this picture of her inside that she looks incredible in, so I decided that I wanted to collage this on the front. And all you do is you lay the letter on top, and then you trace around the edges of it, and then cut it out with your pair of scissors. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, cut around the outside of the page, and then you can also go ahead and cut out the inside Inside. And if you want to cut out the inside, just like create a little snip on the inside and cut it out. And I actually opted to use like two-way tape as opposed to the hot glue gun because it was just not working. And then I two-way taped it on there, cut around the edge, get all the excess off. And that was how I created this letter. It was super easy and I decided to hang it on my wall. I think it looks really cool or you can just like collage it in your other decorative pieces. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you did enjoy. Make sure to click my little face there on the top left corner to subscribe and you can also check out a video from my fashion channel on the bottom right and another video from this channel on the top right. Bye guys.